Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to see some uh, solve some examples on pointers. The concepts related to pointers has been clearly explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. And uh, coming to this class uh, here. Uh, these three examples we are going to understand they look very simple very simple but uh, in a single uh, so they are going to differ in a different way so we will try to understand that by solving this example so this point is okay this line of code is what this line of code is we have declared a pointer p okay pointer p has been declared but it has not been in, in, uh, initialized so an array has been created okay and the starting addresses or uh, starting address is 100 and uh, these are the addresses and integer is occupying four bytes of space now p is equal to a p is equal to a means the address of a so what is the address of a address of a is 100 okay so that address of a will get assigned to p means the now the p is pointing to this location okay so now p plus one so here it is in uh, break, uh, parentheses bra brackets so p plus one means it is this 104 104 star means it is going to get go inside and get this value so which is one so it is going to print the value of one the value one okay so p plus one means hundred plus one so as we have seen uh, address arithmetic whenever we add it is not going to be add uh, add an integer to a pointer which is assigned to an array so what happens is uh, the next address the next address we, we are going to get so these points we have already discussed so which is going to be 104 104 star what is the value that is stored in location 104 which is 1 so that will get printed so this is how this example works coming to this example same same array and same pointer and here a plus 1 a plus 1 what is the value of a 100 100 plus 1 means 104 so now p is allocated to P is assigned to 104 so now this is not this so now P is assigned to 104 and what we are trying to print, uh, print it is P plus 1 star P plus 1 star means it is uh, P is pointing to 104 104 plus 1 104 plus 1 means it is going to be 108 108 star star means the value stored in it it is uh, 2 so what it is going to print so this is 108 108 star means this is going to be 2 it is going to print 2 so far these concepts we have seen and uh, it looks very simple but this third example is going to differentiate a lot with the same kind of similar uh, we find it as a similar uh, assignment but it is going to do uh, it is going to have a lot of differentiation so what that is is same example pointer p okay pointer p has been assigned but it is not allocated a has been uh, taken uh, an array of five elements has been taken but here i am present a plus one so what happens with this ampersand a is what will get assigned is it is going to take the complete array it is going to consider the complete array's address try to get that point ampersand of a means it is the address of the array address of the array so it is going to get take it as a complete address complete array's address so what happens with this is ampersand a plus one means cross the array complete array is considered cross that array and that address after crossing that array what is the address that we are going to get that address we are going to store that that address we are going to consider so crossing that array crossing this array means it is the next address value which is one one seven so this address will get considered one one seven will get considered 
okay so now 117 will get considered which is not which is not going to which is not under the control of this array so this address value is not under the control of this array so we are going to get a garbage value understand this point ampersand a means so the complete array's address means the comp it is considered as the complete array if you add one to it if you add one to it complete array plus next address complete array after that the next address is going to be considered and that address is not under the control of this array so whenever we try to access the memory location uh, which which it does not have the value it is going to get garbage values try to get this point okay so i'm uh, uh, okay so now this 117 will be taken and this 117 will be stored in the pointer so this is the uh, this is the address which this p is pointing to now 117 plus 1 it is going to go to the next one okay 117 plus 1 star is going to get so the value is uh, uh, nothing is there on that memory location so it is going to produce garbage values okay so let's try to execute all these examples and see uh, how the garbage so the third example is getting differentiated with uh, the remaining two examples so let's try to execute the programs see here so the first example it's a simple declaration assignment it is p is equal to a see here so no errors and uh, no warnings and the output is it's simple one will get printed so as we have discussed one will get printed and the next one is uh, second example uh, a plus one is taken okay this is also simple declarations and uh, and here it is going to print two as we have discussed two will get printed the next one is third example so the third example here we have, we have taken ampersand a plus one so the complete array after that the address okay so here uh, here we will get warning assignment for incompatible pointer types so this itself is a warning uh, means the incompatible pointers are getting assigned so uh, we will execute it so we got a garbage value okay so this is this is the differentiation that we need to understand usually in exams so usually what we will think is this ampersand of a uh, ampersand a plus one means it is just the address of an array so plus one so in that way we will try to think and uh, the things will go wrong it is going to produce a garbage value hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited. Thanks for watching.